So today we are going to learn how to draw a fly. So you can use this drawing as cross curriculum with science. Um, at the end of this video you can try to label the different parts of the fly. Um, otherwise you'll just be drawing this for fun. Um, go ahead and get your piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to be using a sharpie so you can follow my lead. Um, we're going to hold the paper um, landscape. So make sure you hold it horizontal and not vertical. Alright, so the first shape that we're going to draw is going to be an oval to the left side of your paper. So I'm going to draw a small oval right here on the left side of my paper. Okay, the second shape I'm going to draw a bigger oval around the small one and it's going to be close to the top. So I'm going to start my oval like that close to the top and then I'm going to go along the bottom. And there's his head and then I'm going to close it. All right, so there's the second oval. Make sure it's a little closer up here than it is down here at the bottom. All right, so that is his eye. The next shape is going to be his other eye on the other side of his head. So it is not going to be a full oval because it is in the background. Just like that, partial oval. All right, so the next shape we're going to draw is going to be an upside down U. So we're going to draw the body part, the thorax. So I'm going to start with the upside down U, and I'm going to put a point so you know where I'm going to connect, because I'm going to make three U's. So I'm going to connect at this point right here. So do it upside down U, and then you connect it to that point. Okay, and I'm going to do three of them. So I'll do another one, upside down U, go down, connect. Third one, upside down U, and then you connect again. All right, please pause this video if I'm going too fast for you. All right, next shape we're going to do right here where these lines connect. I'm going to do a skinny oval right here. So that's going to be one of his legs. All right, so oval going in that direction. Then I'm going to do a second one. I'm going to connect another skinny oval. It's going to go down like this. But make sure it's touching at the top right here. And then the third one, I'm going to go in a different direction. So that's three skinny ovals touching each other. All right, that's one of his legs. The other one is over here. So I'm going to do an oval right here, skinny oval. This is going to be his other leg. Okay, this direction. Then I'm going to go here. That's two skinny ovals. And then the foot, small one there. Okay. Next shape, like I said, please pause. I'm going to do a curved line. It's kind of like a smiley face. So I'm going to put my pencil right here where all these three lines connected. And I'm going to make a smiley face and connect to his leg. It's part of his body. Alright, next shape we're going to do. There's a leg on this other side of his head. So the same direction as this one, but I'm only going to do a small U because you only see part of the oval. Then I'm going to go in this direction. Another skinny U. I mean oval. And then his foot right like that. Alright, like I said, pause the video if I'm going too fast. Erase. If you make a mistake, draw light when you're drawing, you're learning how to draw so the lines go away when you erase. Okay, so this smiley face has to continue to the top of this U. So we did the smiley face and we stopped at the leg. And you're going to act like you're going to continue. So pick up your pencil and go on the other side of the leg wherever it continues and you're going to connect to here. So I'm going up, continue on the other side of the leg, and then I'm going to connect just like that. Alright, next shape. We're going to go just like this. We're going to go start, put our pencil right here, and we're going to go down, diagonal line, and then it's going to curve back up, and then you're going to connect to the leg. Just like that. Okay. Next shape. Use. So I'm going to do a long letter U here. And you're going to do about three or four of them. However many you fit. So we're just adding some texture to the body. And if you look at the original, once you color it, it starts to look like a fly. Alright, so I'm going to just do some U's to give it some texture on his body. Now a fly has wings, and the wings are transparent which means you can see through it. 
So these lines, most of the times when we draw, we pick up our pencil and go to the other side. But the wings are transparent, so they're going to go through the body. And when you color it, it's going to look like it's not necessarily through the body, but behind. So I'm going to do a diagonal line for the first wing. And then I'm going to curve back and go back in. And I'm going to make a little upside down V shape and then continue to the body and stop. So that's the wing that's on the other side of his body. Okay, the other wing that's on this side of the body, you're going to go through these lines, but because it's transparent, once you color it, you'll see that it's looking like it's not going across the body. So do a straight line like that, letter V. Okay, I'm going to go down just a little bit and I'm going to go around go across all these lines and then I'm going to go up and make a diagonal and connect okay and then next step so like I said these lines usually don't go across but because it's a wing it's going to be transparent and the next shape is going to be another leg back here so we're going to do an oval right here there's one you do a long oval going down, third leg, okay? So there's three legs in the front and then three there on the other side. Okay, and then the last step we're going to do, we're going to add a little detail. So maybe do three little circles in his eye. And when you color it, you leave those white. I'm going to do two on this eye. And you pay attention to the original drawing and color it however you want, but I'd use lights and darks. This blue, I added light blue. And then maybe a few little hairs. Two or three hairs on his legs, on his body. And then you go ahead and get your color pencils and your crayons. And you color it. Oh, we forgot the little nose and his tongue. So I'm going to do a little curve like that. It's two of them. So there's his tongue and his nose. All right, so you go ahead and get your color pencils and your crayons. Pay attention to how I color the original. I use shading, so make sure you do that, lights and darks. Um, light red, dark red, and then I did some light blue, and then I went over it with a white color pencil to make it look transparent. So that is your how to draw a fly with lines and shapes. Hopefully you had fun with this video. Um, please subscribe my YouTube channel and look for more videos every week.